and we're back. Good evening, ladies and gents. We are here to go ahead and start testing the Ghosties deck, the Seance deck that we demonstrated, or that we uh, introdu introduced the other day. Let's find us an opponent. Um, I didn't go over the sideboard. I will do so after the first game uh, with whatever's relevant. I did make some changes to it anyway. Here we go. Apparently we're fighting some kind of werewolf person, judging from their picture. This is actually pretty good. Uh, we've got Faithless Looting. Um, or we could go starting off with planes so we can get turn 2 Don Trader Elk or Pilgrim. I think uh, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go ahead and have good manners and say hello. I believe I mentioned it before, but if any of y'all want to play me for some playtesting videos, uh, essentially we can do this same thing, only uh, not in the tournament prep room, and we can see your deck as well as mine. Uh, if you do, just leave a comment and we can maybe figure it out. Alright, red-blue. Sounds interesting. Gonna go ahead and go forward with the plan. Uh, untap main is good. This is another deck that could use some more of the lands, although I'm getting a little bit better. I'm gradually starting to acquire them. What's going up? What's going on in this land? There seem to be some uh, really porous and holy uh, rocks there. Just interesting. Giant Adifage. This is probably not actually a good thing to have, but it sounds fun. I'm intrigued by the idea. Alright, so we've got our Dawn Treader Elk online. Next turn we can roll out Faithless Looting and see what's going on. Uh, okay, now we have our green mana free because we don't need to use it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and Faithless Looting. We want to drop the Adifage. Um, oh wait, no, that won't have haste, so we don't want to drop the Adifage. Uh, but we will drop... <laughs> Probably a pair of Faithless Lootings. Um, how likely are we to even cast this thing? Probably not very likely. Alright, let's ditch it and a Faithless Looting. Let's go ahead and get a uh, another mana guy online. He's going to have a hard time to prevent us from ramping one way or the other. I want to do some investigation into what exactly is required to modify the background of this. Uh, maybe I'll come up with some kind of cool one. Okay, I could zealous conscripts and do nothing with it, so I think I'm going to keep looting and see what we get. I don't really need planes. Um, and given the force and the guild gate, I don't really need force. However, I also don't need the land. Or don't need a land untapped, so I'll go ahead and drop that. Um, there's nothing here that he can flash in, so I'll go ahead and attack. Alright. We've taken a commanding lead against Walker. Walker, the werewolf planeswalker guy. Okay, I think twice. Restoration Angel. So it looks like red, white, blue control. That's not the worst. It's okay that he keeps tapping out as well. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see what our visionary can get us. 
he's not going to like that he has to keep killing these creatures and then we get to reanimate them. So I just got a message from Kendall, the uh, host of uh, Kitchen Finks, which I am on. Alright, a six line. I like the idea of shutting down his mana. Could Slayer Stronghold to give Elvish Visionary haste? Could Faithless Looting? I kind of like the cards I've got. So I'm going to go ahead and give him haste. And get him in. Okay. So I'm going to probably end up attacking with this guy, threatening to upgrade him so that they'll trade. Um, that trade would be pretty good for me. He's already gotten his value. I've already gotten my value. But if we trade, I get to get more value. I always like that. Um, all right, he's searching for something. Uh, hopefully, to or p hoping to play something main phase. I like that he's used most of the mana that he would require for tricks. All right, this is an option too. Um, we could spark trooper. I like acidic slime because that can take him off of uh, white, so he would not be able to cast a. Uh, Restoration Angel or Boros Reckoner. Or one, two, three, four. Not quite enough to. Oh, wait, yes. Oh, yeah, not quite enough red to do Spark Trooper and Slayer Stronghold. Um, actually, I do like the idea of a six line list, I think. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have two mana. Not quite enough to pump. But he doesn't know that, and I'm willing to... No, I don't have a seance yet, so I'm not willing to just throw it away. Obviously, it's tempting to me, though. Save us some mana of each color. I could have uh, attacked with one or both of these guys and threatened to trade with the Slayer Stronghold, but I wasn't really willing to spend the mana. Sometimes it might be worth, uh, you know, faking it, but I don't really feel like it was this time. Okay, so he still seems to be off of white mana. That is good and makes me feel like I did the right decision there. Uh, however, he's got up enough for combat tricks. I'm going to play into them. What's he going to do? Counter my guy? I can get it back with Seance. Uh, worst comes to worst, he would dissipate or something, but, uh, meh. Got it. I have to draw him out somehow. I don't really need the mana. I'm going to go ahead and start attacking with everything. I like the idea of getting him low, and he's going to have to have something impressive to, uh, really answer. Okay, so he's got Snapcaster Mage onto Searing Spear. Uh, that's a... I don't know. And to Thought Scour. Because he doesn't have enough mana for more than that. So basically he's doing this so that he can get a free block, kill one of my guys, lose his Snapcaster. That sounds great to me. Uh, right? That's fine. He keeps one guy, I deal a ton of damage, um, and kill his Snapcaster. I'm going to go ahead and keep the guild gate in my hand so that I can start using Faithless Looting to aggressively look for my Seance. If I get Seance out, he's going to be in a really, really bad spot because, you know, Spark Troopers doing a ton to him and such. Um, when I sideboard, I'm going to have to bring in Answers to Boris Reckoners because I don't have a ton of them. Also, uh... I don't remember if I have anything against Sphinx's Revelation. I do have Assemble the Legions for, uh... going against Control, so I 
can consider that option if I desire it. All right, let's faithless loot. This will leave us enough so that we can use our Slayer Stronghold on our Visionary if we want to. However, I'm betting he's got a Restoration Angel, so that's maybe not what we're going to want to do. I'll keep... Oh, I'm going to drop the Guild Gate because I don't need it. Um, probably don't need Dawn Trotter Elk. I like the idea of uh, playing Acidic Slime to take him off white. However, he'd be able to flash in his guy. Um, regardless, I don't need Dawn Trader Elk. Yep, I'm going to be patient. going to go ahead and destroy his uh, white source. Again, he's got enough for Restoration Angel, which I'm assuming... Oh, that's not the mana guy? I'm such a dumb idiot. Okay, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and Faithless Loot again. I don't really want to drop these, but, uh, yeah, I totally thought that that was the mana guy. Okay, let's say that we're on a new plan. Just want to do one of these a turn. Um... Now, I like Zealous Conscripts to steal his angel if he plays an angel. I don't really need Acidic Slime, so I'm just going to keep one Spark Trooper and the angel, er, and the Conscripts. Let's see his angel. Okay, he's got seven cards in hand, so he's got a lot of something. Alright, what does the angel reveal? Harvest Pyre. Okay, so he's going for the full-on combo with Boris Reckoning. Um, graveyard Hate might not be the worst. It wouldn't surprise me if he's got uh, Rune Changer's Pikes, but we're going to have to see on that one. I know I've got Tormod's Crypt in here for Graveyard Hate. I think that may be the only Graveyard Hate card I've got, but... It's an option if we really need it. Okay, if he goes all out, which I'm betting he will. I zealous conscript. If I draw a land, I would be able to also slay your stronghold. So that would be six, seven, eight. Not quite enough. But pretty darn close. Um, alternatively, I just spark trooper, and he probably has a counter. He's got eight cards in hand. He probably has a counter. Um, or has a Harvest Pyre. Regardless, new plan. We've got... He's trying to tell me that he has a, uh... Angel again. I'm okay with that. Tell you what, I've got a Seance. I really want to be able to stick the Seance. I don't have enough lands to do Spark Trooper and Seance, quite. I'm one short. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attack with Elvish Visionary, threaten to trade. Um, I'm betting he's going to play Angel. If he does, I will then say, oh, you're out of mana. I get to land my Seance. Do you have an answer? Um, if he does not... Okay, I'm probably just going to go ahead and trade with that, because I have mana to trade and Seance. And that way, he does not get to angel it infinitely like he wanted to. Let's see what he's got. I'm willing to play into a counter spell because I've got to do something to get the counters out of his hands. And uh, we can always draw more seances. Uh, also, like, you know, we're very near to having lethal here. So I need to get the counter spells out of the way so I can just kill him. Okay, is it charm? Is it charm would have been a problem for my spark trooper at least. So I am glad to get rid of it. He doesn't know how much of my deck has haste. Oh, that's a cute one. Um, if I had another land, I could uh, 
Thrag Tusk and Slayer Stronghold. So I'm going to this turn play Spark Trooper. It gets him a lot of damage and gives him very few outs to the rest of what I've got. Um, he's probably got an answer to it. It seems like, you know, six cards in hand. He's got to have something. But we'll see. Maybe he's got all the wrong answers. Okay, so we'll be drawing this next turn. Well, he's going to have to have an answer to it next turn. Um, that buys him one draw step, but it I lose very little. Okay, so he's got to do something else with his turn as well. Um, looks like he's thought scouring himself. Yeah, he's thought scouring himself. So he's he got slight card advantage there, but uh, I feel like it's not the absolute worst. Okay, so he's attacking with both. If he taps low. I'll probably just Thrag Tusk anyway. Okay. Reckoner is not the worst target for Zealous Conscripts. I'm going to Thrag Tusk first. Next turn, that makes Zealous Conscripts significantly more uh, impressive. Don't represent the maximum number of things by having all, all of my colors up. Awesome! He had no counter spell. That's a good sign. I feel like he probably would have countered Thrag Tusk if he had it. If he attacks with Reckoner, that's good. If not, I can conscripts it um, and attack for lethal. 3, 6, 9. Um, assuming he attacks all out. If he attacks all out, that'll be 5... 8 damage at me. Um, however, I'm sure he's got some kind of play. He is getting lower on cards, so that's less and less uh, terrifying. Wait, he's Searing Speared me? That surprised me. I did not immediately think that happened. That's kind of cool. Okay. So we can Zealous Conscripts, take his guy, attack for 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, and have Slayer Stronghold up. That sounds pretty good. Let's pay with some basics. Does he have a counterspell? <laughs> this is a philosophy that I kind of like of make him have it. Sometimes you want to play around counterspells and make sure that you don't mess up your plan, but sometimes you just have so many threats that you want to make them have it. You want to say, okay, you're going to run out of counterspells eventually, and I'm going to have more threats. Let's do this thing. Again, if I top deck a seance, things just get rough for him. Um, oh, okay, he's... Right, he's got, uh, I forgot that he had a Harvest Pyre. He's getting rid of his whole graveyard to probably kill me. <laughs> I forgot that. That's why he Searing Speared me to the face. I've heard of this combo, but I haven't actually seen it, so it's not something that I'm used to terribly. Is this lethal? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, so that's something I'm going to have to be aware of. Okay, I've got Oblivion's Rings, which... Those and Fiend Hunters are both answers to the Reckoner, so I'm not actually that weak to Reckoner. Um, in theory. I've got Near Heath Pilgrim for life gain if I want it. Rootbound Defenses is kind of good against all of his, uh, burn spells. I can keep my stuff alive, and Assemble the Legions is good against any control deck, more or less. Okay, we need to make five cuts. What do we have? What is not great? He's seen seances. He is in white, red, blue. Um, oh yeah, Adifage is out. It's cool and all. Right, let's actually keep all the seances in. It's kind of the whole plan. Um, Fiend Hunters. He didn't actually have that many permanents. Let's cut our O-rings and rely on... Let's cut all but one O-ring. Um, Acidic Slime, he just has so many lands. We don't... Maybe run... Maybe not run the whole set. Cut uh, Azelis Conscripts and... Let's cut a pilgrim. Actually, no. We're playing first. Pilgrims are better. Let's cut. And oh, they take too long. Guess I'd like to play first. Okay. So this is a turn two mulch or visionary hand. That's not the worst. Okay, that's good. I, Forest lets me play uh, Sun Petal Grove next if I want. Um, also, I can mulch for lands um, to maybe hit my seance soon. That's not terrible. Three lands. <laughs> Enough to make me discard something, but I'll probably uh, be happy to ditch one of these. Okay, I've got two Sun Petal Groves. I don't need another Force. Seance is, of course, good. <laughs> two Seances is better! No. Uh, anyway, uh, Seance is good, but I don't have that much in my yard yet. So let's see what we can get into it. Um, Elvish Visionary, I really want him to kill this. Um, Acidic Slime is a really good thing to start working toward. Maybe I shouldn't have cut the Acidic Slime. I'm not sure, honestly, whether Conscripts or Slime is better. I guess he doesn't have that many creatures, so uh, Slime is probably just better for uh, this matchup. If I win this round, I can uh, act based on that. Okay, I've got two seance, so what I'm going to do here is Sun Petal Grove and just play out a seance into the counter spell that he probably has. Again, I'm going to try and drain his counter spells. I'd rather my Acidic Slime resolve next turn than this seance. Um, that said, if this seance resolves, it'll be great to have him play. Okay. So it's something that wouldn't have countered the Acidic Slime anyway, but at least it's gone. It will not be able to counter the next sounds. Uh, if he ever does tap out, I can happily land a uh, seance. In the meantime, he doesn't seem to have dissipate, which means that uh, the seances are better because if he counters this, I get to get it back. So he can snapcaster his counter spells, and I can uh, 
seance, my acidic slimes and such. So this is not the worst. Okay, he does have counterflux. That's cool. Counterflux is uh, strictly worse than dissipate against me, so that's good. Um, just I say that because I do not have uh, counter spells for him to worry about. Um, the fact that he's doing Thought Scour now means that he's probably trying to hit something, maybe a land drop. Um, he played it right away, so I'm guessing that he's out of lands in his hand. Which is actually kind of scary. That means he's got a lot. Alright, let's see what we can draw here. We've got some land stitch. Yeah, drop two lands. Is it worth trying to drop a seance now? Uh, let's go ahead and attack, see what he does. If he has an angel, he might just play it to eat the uh, visionary. If so, we happily drop a seance. Okay. I figured he might not have anyway if he did have it, but it was worth a shot. Alright, let's drop a uh, mountain and sun petal grove. Let's play the elk out. That can help us pull a land out of our deck. Again, another thing that I'm more than happy to let him counter steal. Play the other lane tapped. That helps fill in the lane colors that I had less of. Okay, drawing your card. I'm going to leave the elk out so I can go ahead and attack with it. I'm hoping to start drawing spells out of them. It's not terrible. I don't, like I said, I don't mind uh, dealing damage either. Not quite enough to drop the Thrag Tusk. Having Thrag Tusk means that I'm more tempted to drop Seance just because. Uh, I've got a uh, plan B, but I'm okay with getting in damage for now. Um, if he plays a big guy, I can conscript it. Okay, he did have an angel, he just wanted to uh, not let me cast a spell. That's not the worst. Uh, I would have been more than happy to sacrifice my elk, so uh, there wasn't a ton of good in. Okay, Assemble the Legion. Now I will drop Seance, because I would rather have the Assemble the Legion hit the field. So, I'll make him play any counter spell he's got. He's down to four uh, spells in hand, so it's certainly not a sure thing that he's got it. Um, I've got my mana up for sacrificing Dawn Trigger Elk. Okay. Time to get snappy. I've got two mana, so he can't just use a... Is it Charm? Does he have a... Oh yeah, he's got a... The Counterflex, that was what it was. Okay, that's fine. He's exiled that. I've got some... Mana, I'm going to go ahead and attack. Um, if he blocks the Dawn Treader Elk with something that I'm not willing to trade it for, I will just sacrifice it. Um, this will let me get through a damage or two. Um, he will probably eat... Uh, visionary with an angel. Um. Am I willing to trade that? I think I'd have another. I think I'd rather have another land out of my deck. 
Let's see what basics we've got. Um, we've got a lot of forests. Let's do a mountain, actually. Maybe I should have gotten a plains because I don't have that many there. Also, uh, sacrificing the elk here helps us get the assembled legions through uh, another is it charm. Is it charm if you're not all that familiar? Again, uh, has many options, but it lets ooh torrents cut. Well, I don't care because he because he keeps spinning counters on all of my uh, seances. Anyway, uh, sorry. Is it charm among other things lets you uh, counter spell that is not a creature spell unless its controller pays two. Huh. Interesting that he's attacking with both. I guess uh, he feels that he is the aggressor in this stage. Because of that, I think I would rather play Thrag Tusk. Uh, it turns around the life swing a lot. Okay, first I'm going to go ahead and attack. Actually, no. Let's go with the game plan. I do like Assemble the Legion a lot. And it's just really fun to win with. Okay, that resolved. Um, I don't think he's got ways to get rid of enchantments, so now we are in a race. Uh, now uh, Thrag Tusk is even better, and Zealous Conscript is the other plan that I want fully. Um, if he's got an angel, that will really help him in the race. Yeah, that, that's a problem. Okay, maybe I should have played the Thrag Tusk first. Oh, this is a Sphinx's Revelation. Uh, Sphinx's Revelation will draw him five cards and gain him five life. That's also a problem, because, you know, again, we're in a race. Um, also, that means he's probably drawing any number of uh, counter spells and every terrible thing that he could possibly want to do to me. Oh well, let's see how we do. We're only taking five here. That's not the worst. Uh, we can leave a guy back to block. Alright, he's playing with the main phase. Oh, Boris Reckoner. Does he have the combo? If so, then he will have outplayed us. He's got seven cards in graveyard, so he can do seven to us that way. Oh, wow, there's... <laughs> that's two of them. All right, I'm going to... play out the Thrag Tusk. I would still rather have that counter than my Oblivion Ring, which is going to his... Uh, Boris Reckoner. Is a charm can only counter the Oblivion Ring, so there's a chance that he uh, may still have one, though. Okay, so, our soldiers are just not going to have attacks right now, because his Reckoners uh, answer them nicely. Okay, so he's got the Is a charm. Alright. It's not the worst. I would like to have something to do with the Reckoners, but maybe I'll figure something out. He can attack with these three. I won't have great blocks, so he'll probably just do me nine damage. I can maybe... I, I guess I can chump block them, and that's not the worst. We'll see. I don't want to block them with Thrag Tusk, obviously, because then they would get to deal me five damage uh, directly, which is better than just not blocking. Okay, Mizium Mortars, he overloaded to kill everything I have. That's pretty good. So he's going to get to do 9 damage to me here. Again, if he has the... Nope, okay, he does not have the kill, apparently. Harvest Pyre would, of course, be the kill. All right. So it gets rid of my graveyard. 
Okay, I've got five, eight, eleven damage I could do to him. That's good. It's not quite good enough. Uh, do I have a way to survive next turn? He could do me three, four, five if I chump block those two. Looks like that is our best hope, and just hold on to zealous conscripts. If he's smart, he'll probably just hold the conscripts back. Um, because that way I'll never have attacks, because it would kill me. If he holds one back, then uh, I can take it. If he holds both back, then I lose. Alright, he tapped his land. He's got a mana. Alright, Snapcaster Mage. Looks like he can still just get us to one. Obviously, it depends on what he ends up, uh, how he plays this. He could just have a uh, burn spell to kill me or something. This is dire straits, but... Oh no, this deck is really fun to play. I haven't been winning in any of these testing videos, but it's still fun to play these decks. And, like, this is... very... This looks like a net deck of the Lucky Charms deck that was at the Pro Tour. And, well, you know, people complain a lot about uh, net decks. When it comes down to it, his deck costs more than all everyone I own. So, at least I get to feel that. Okay, so next turn we get three soldiers. Six, eight, eleven, fourteen. That is absurdly close. Three, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, fourteen. Oh well, I'm going to play it anyway. Uh, obviously, we can't win. We can get him to one. But uh, as soon as I've attacked, I will give him a second and then resign. Because at least it's nice to show, well, I could have gotten you to one. It doesn't really mean anything. Alright, he's got something anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> I'll try and start playing decks that have a chance of winning sometimes. Uh, I feel like this deck isn't too far off. I feel like if I continue modifying it and editing it, I might get it there. Uh, otherwise, it's fun to play. Have a good one.